Okay, I'm back. I figured I might as well show what this shop has to offer. It's got the knife that we found in that cave. Uh, it's got a chain sickle, an iron spear, which is pretty good for a, a cleric or a hero. But, as you can see, it's too expensive. Oh, leather armor. Shell armor. Eh, so-so. Or you can just skip right to chain mail. Which, eh, I don't know if the price might be worth it, I don't know. But as you can see, this is where we get into how clerics can almost equip the same stuff as a hero. If you look, the leather armor, the thief can't equip. However, the thief cannot equip the shell and chain mail, which the hero and cleric can. It's also bronze shields. Um, might buy the shield for my cleric. Nah, I won't. Anyway, there's... There's other things you can do. But what we need to do now... Well, we don't need to, but... Go into a castle, finally. Fucking Harley drivers. It's annoying living on the highway, because you get those assholes who do that all day. They also do it at night, too, which wake you up, which is just fucking annoying. Anyway... Uh... I'm pretty sure one of these corners... There's a small metal. Yeah, see? Right there. That's what I was thinking of when I was searching around in the lion hand. Uh, I don't think there's any in the other ones. Anyway, you go up here... I don't think there's a tiny metal here. <laughs> Our hero's about to level up, as you can see. Talking to kings is also a savior game. For real, without using save states. Um... Cleric. It's about to level up, too, so... We'll be getting level ups in the next battle, more than likely. Yeah, we'll say for real, even though it's pointless. Alright. Yeah, we'll continue. Alright, and then we get a side quest. <laughs> now, you don't actually have to do that. You can just ignore it. Or you can actually get the golden crown and just keep it. So, yeah. Golden crown's meh as an item, because you can actually equip it. As a whole, I think it's probably better to just give it over because otherwise it just takes up a spot in your inventory. Anyway, we go north. I'm gonna try to avoid the forest. Ah, oh, crap, it's almost nighttime. Uh, that's fine, actually. Oh, a new enemy. You can run to these in the cave. Uh, they're annoying. They have pretty high defense, so you'll want to use spells to kill them. Let's see. And they also have, like, 50 HP or something. So, they can actually hurt you pretty bad if you let them. There. And there we go. Let's see, do we get a new spell? Yes, we do. Our hero can now use heal. And... Our cleric learns no new spells. Alright, this shrine has something a little special in it. Now, this music is loud, so I'm probably going to need to turn it down. Anyway, up here we have something that's only in the remakes of Dragon Quest 3. And this guy just falls from the ceiling. And, uh, there's a tiny metal somewhere around here, I think. But if you search up here, you get a Pachisi ticket. Now, you'll need this ticket to actually play this game. I'll search for a tiny metal later. Anyway, come up here. Uh, I'm gonna save state because it's the only one and I want to get the items that are at the end of it. But, you come up here, and you get, on this board you get 10 die, 10 die rolls. Like I said, it's just a board game. You roll the dice and you move. Now that gives you another turn. As you can see, that space back there moves you ahead. The one behind me is treasure chest. The one two spaces in front of me is a shop. Speaking of two spaces in front of me, usually these shops have good items, but they're too expensive, usually. Yeah, see, the leather dress is a pretty good defense item for females, but it's not really worth it. So, we'll just get moving. And if you land on those, you lose. So, I've lost. But that's why I made a safe state. Alright, um, I'm just going to probably cut ahead to if I step on one of the tiles that you get items from, the, which are the pots, the dressers, and the treasure chests. Or until I win, whichever comes first. Okay, on second that I'll leave that in. Move one space, search, and I fell down a hole. 
Okay. Alright, I'm probably gonna run this one and fast forward. If I don't win, that is. This one isn't too long, though. Ah, oh, yes. Random battles. Now, this... I'm gonna talk about this even though we've seen these enemies. As you can tell, you're fighting alone. Which means, just whoever is doing the Pachisi will get full experience from killing these enemies. Which is good that I chose my hero because they level up slow, so... So the hero needs as much experience as possible. <laughs> uh, you don't want to step on that electric. That'll do one-third of your HP's worth of damage. And that's one-third of your max, not what your current. I'm not going to examine these on the off chance I fall down. Alright, this. You roll a die to see what stat goes up or down. Max HP by four points will drop. That's not good. But I'll deal with it. And that is a permanent boost, it's not temporary. You actually lose that HP for good. Alright. I put money on, I get a two. Alright, I need to get a three to win. A five will lose. Alright, now, just do this until you step on a goal. Just crap. And, I finally won. Took me seven tries. Anyway, yeah, I cheated. So what? This is just to show the rewards you get. Five hundred gold, pretty good. And but this is what I really want: the steel sword. Now, the steel sword. Look, seventeen point increase over the chain sickle. Now that I have this, I won't need to buy a weapon for my hero or really my cleric for a long time. And once you get the treasure chests, just drop down the hole. And where we found that ticket, that's where the victory is. So, now that we've done that, excuse me, that music is really loud and annoying. Alright, now I've equipped my clerk with the chain sickle. Now, we just keep going north. Unfortunately, we have to go through mountains, so we're going to get in battles a lot. Alright, nothing new. Caterpillar, moth, and we got level up, even though that battle was the same thing as the last one. Mm. See, that's why I changed my mage personality. Good wisdom and luck gain. And upper, which boosts one ally's defense by... Oh, we got a new... No, two new enemies. Uh, the Batman is really rare. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, upper will boost an ally's defense by double. Crap, what do I kill first? Uh, Killer Beast can paralyze you. I think I'll go for those. And Ice Bolt the Bat. If he doesn't resist, but he probably will. Nope. Alright. Alright, now I'm going to need to heal. Uh. That's why I gave medical herbs to everybody. That way they can heal themselves to save MP. That's <laughs> a good thing I healed when I did. Ooh, a critical hit. Um, I'm not 100% sure how crits work in this game, but I think they ignore defense. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? They do ignore defense to a point, anyway. And, as usual, our thief is two levels ahead of our hero again. Pretty good stats. And we make it to the next town. The good thing, this is why I didn't care if it was night or not. Because, if you come up here, you can steal this guy's boxers, which is just hilarious. And if you open these chests, you get the rare poison dagger. Now, the poison dagger is nice. It's weak, but it's really, really good against metal enemies. Because the poison dagger can one hit kill any non-boss enemy. It's like a 1 out of 8 chance, so it doesn't happen. It's best to give to a mage who won't be physically attacking, except metal monsters, because metal monsters are basically spell immune. Anyway, boxer shorts only a warrior can equip. And over here we get a club. So, we just explore this town. Loot everybody's belongings, because, hey, this is a Japanese RPG. It's perfectly legal for a hero of a Japanese RPG to do that. There's a cheesy ticket. Because there's more than just that one board. There's, uh, four. 
you go back behind here, there's a hidden staircase, and if you look around, uh, that seed will boost your max HP. Alright, that's what I was looking for. The fur hood. That's a pretty good equip. I think only females can equip it, though. I'll give that to... Yeah. There we go. Alright, anything else that we can loot? Alright, you got a skeleton. Somebody passed out in the graveyard. You search in front of it's this tombstone. You get a tiny metal. Yeah, Iron Claws are one of, like, th three, I think, weapons that a fighter can equip that doesn't lower their stats. Um, okay, there's nothing else, so we'll just stay at the end. The ends are getting a little bit more expensive, but still, nothing you can't be able to get in, like, one or two battles. Anyway, now that we've got over a thousand gold, thanks to doing the Pachisi, See, there's the Iron Claws. Only fighters can equip them. The chain Whip is pretty good for a thief. As you can tell, it's better than the Spiny Whip. And I think thieves are the only ones that can equip the Chain Whip. Period. Iron Armor. Too expensive. Mm. Okay, I'm done. As you can tell, I spent all my money. I've sold a lot of things, now my new equipment. I bought the scale shield for my hero and cleric, and a bronze shield for my thief. I had to sell uh, the sacred knife and the copper sword to be able to afford all of it, though. I also sold the seeds, as usual. I forgot to sell a club, though. Anyway. So I'll do some inventory management. Okay, now that I'm done with that. Um... Now, where you're supposed to go is to the west. But, I'm gonna go north real quick. Even though it's almost... Oh, we got new enemies. Oh, crap. This isn't very good. Um, the Ravengers will attack twice per round. You'll want to kill them quick. Uh, the Rogue Knights have a lot of defense, and they will hit you pretty hard. They also can call help for healers, and I think Rogue Knights can also cast Increase to raise their defense even more. Uh, the Venom Worm can poison your whole party. So, these enemies... Oof, ouch. These enemies don't fuck around. Oh good, I killed that Venom Worm. Um... <sighs> Sorry about that. Blew into the microphone. I'll have to edit that out, but... But, um... Shit, what do I do? Um, I think I'll have my hero heal himself. My cleric heal our thief. And we'll cast Ice Bolt on the Rogue Knights. Yeah, there we go, they call for a healer. Uh, you'll want to kill the healers first whenever they do that. Of course. Or else the healer's just gonna heal any damage you do. Luckily it was being stupid and decided to attack. But now they got a second one, which su which sucks. Okay, they have less than 30 HP. They must have like 25 or something. Okay, the healers are gone. Crap! Ugh! I don't want to have my party get unbalanced experience, so I'm going to try to run from this. Uh, this is why I got warp wings, that way I don't have to worry about getting any more fights. Because all of was that last town, by the way. Yeah, stupid fast enemies. Anyway, you just talk to these guys. Crap, I don't think I have enough money. Damn, I don't have enough money. Uh... That sucks. Well, 
Uh, we've got basically a video here. I'm gonna edit things out, and when I come back, I'll have my cleric revived. So, see you next time.